What's up guys, Rick Denham here, back with Holy Moly Outdoors, and it is another Tank Test Thursday. So thank you so much for joining us. It is April 5th. I can't believe it's already April. How cool. We're getting some nice warming weather, and some of my favorite fishing starts to happen as the water and weather warms up. We're talking spring, and what better to do a test tank video on a staple Pacific Northwest lure than Dick Knight spoons. Let me tell you guys, if you don't know what a Dick Knight is, you're not fishing right, as they say in their slogan, but Dick Knight spoons in all seriousness has been around for a very long time as just a staple salmon trout steelhead spoon that really is effective, and today I wanted to showcase that because here in April for the Pacific Northwest, specifically in Washington, we have our trout stockings. And really, a Dick Knight works great, casted from the bank, trolled from a boat. It is an awesome lure for you to get back into trout fishing or get your kids into it. And it is such an easy way to use it. And uh, we're talking about the Dick Knight spoon right here. Comes in a couple different sizes, and we're going to go through the whole gamut. And I'm going to even throw you... A secret that I'm a little hesitant to give, but I'm going to give it to you guys because I learned it from one of the great legend fishermen around here locally, and uh, you're going to want to stay tuned for that one. So, Test Tank Thursday, Dick Knight Spoons, here we go. Alright guys, so before we actually dive into the test tank itself, we're going to go over the sizes of the Dick Knights. There are three of them. The Zero, or the Wee Dick Knight, the size one which is your probably standard model that you're used to seeing, and your size 2. So they all have great applications to use for, and I'm quickly going to show you what they look like. So for the Wee Dick Knight, you're talking about a small, think, finesse type lure. This little guy is an absolute killer on high pressure trout, or even if you have small size trout, this is a great lure for the smaller fish. You catch anything really panfish will eat this I have caught some of my biggest salmon in the river throwing the weed ignite if you can believe it we then move up to the size one dick knight and this is a great one I'll change my hand angle for you this is a great one um, for trout or salmon as well uh, again this is just a little bit larger size a little bit better profile and uh, I think gives a great action. They all have the same kind of wobble style, and you'll see it here in the test tank. But typically, if I'm going for a standard trout trip, and I'm going to be throwing the size one, but there's a lot of times when either one, the size we, the zero, or the one, aren't really working all that great, those fish want a little bit more flash. And this is where you're going to turn to the size two. This is definitely a bigger spoon. It has a built-in swivel on the top end here, which helps with line twist and gives off some killer action. So the size two spoon, a lot of the time, is for your bigger trout and applications where those fish want some more flash. So what I end up doing is I have not just my whole tackle box full like I usually do, but I generally bring a couple of each size because the Dick Knight is so effective on uh, my trout applications that I'm usually bringing a couple of every size just in case I need to change something up. The fish will tell you what they want and that's always the best part of doing any kind of fishing is in letting the fish decide as opposed to just randomly going around. So I generally will start my fishing day with a size one which is this guy here. If that size one isn't getting hit then I'll either factor in, okay, they're either super pressured and they want something smaller or they want something bigger. And the beauty of the Dick Knight is it has its own action, its own flash, and really is great to use. These can be trolled by themselves. You could even do something like, you know, your Dick Knight tied on to your leader, run about two and a half, three feet, put a couple split shot, and you're trolling around just on the surface. You could put these on a downrigger. You could do a lot of things. It's endless, really. And uh, again, I told you there's a little trick I'm going to show you here at the end 
that's gonna rock your sock so stay tuned for that one but we're gonna go to the test tank now for the wee dick night and we're gonna have a little fun showing you guys how that looks in the water so let's do it so as we get started we've tied this on some 10 pound Iser line to put in the test tank and as we get to a close up here just so you can see what's neat about the dick knight is they have a little welded ring at the top a little welded ring at the bottom and an eagle claw sidewash hook there all works well in unison and these things are ready to catch fish right out of the package just tie it on your line like I have here and throw it out there so let's take a look at this in the water and show you guys really how awesome these actions are on the Wii size 0 dick knight alright so here is the Wii dick knight size 0 the nice little wobble to it perfect action that wobbler type style just flat out catches fish it's really good we're probably looking at mile an hour or so with the current speed in here really like seeing what it's looking like alright and here we are with that nickelback frog same kind of wobble action really killer for trout salmon and steelhead and any species that loves a small bait fish imitation spoon like this guy excels at super slow speeds to get that nice wobble this is the size one in nickelback frog here you got the size 2 copper with the swivel really gets some good action and that swivel gives it a little bit of extra room to move same wobbler style with the slow speeds really really works well Okay, so we're back. That is what the test tank action is going to give us. On the water will obviously show the wide range that that wobble of the lure can go side to side. It's really neat to see the specific action that these spoons give off at such a slow speed. I have actually footage of some of that wobble action that I'm talking about. Um, it really showcases how cool the dick knight really moves in the water now I told you there are three sizes the zero the one and the two and which way they work now there's a plenty of great color options out there dick has some just tried and true staples that work for all specifics and I would have to say I have a handful as my favorite so I'm gonna give you a couple of those if you are running for salmon in particular there are two colors that by far for me and a lot of other people I know produce the best. The Wee Dick Knight size that we have here is the 50-50 gold and silver. That is by far probably my number one color of any species that I'm targeting. But for salmon, I love the 50-50. Secondly was the size that I showed for the number one. This is a nickelback frog pattern. So you got a green speckle frog on the front with a nickel plate, nickel color on the back. Really gives a lot of good flash. Coho cannot leave this one alone. It's one of the best ones for salmon in the river for me. And then that 50-50, it's either one of those two that are running during the salmon season. And in fact, if you guys even remember, I have a whole leader feeder box rigged up, ready to go, 50-50s on this side, all of my nickelback frogs on the other. Great way to store yours for salmon and steelhead if you're looking to. And then 
I would say if you're looking for the trout size on the number two, um, you have a lot of options. The chromes or the chrome hot tips. Um, so they're metallic finishes with a dyed tail, painted tail, and I really find those to be productive if the fish want something a little different. So something like a nickel and chartreuse is a great trout color. Copper is always a good color, especially on days that it's a little bit cloudy. So copper and brass in a color, brass, um, brass red, like that guy here. Just all depends on what your situation is, but typically for trout, I'm trolling some kind of a copper, a silver nickel with a chartreuse, or some kind of color combo. Well, this is a chartreuse in pink, or I'll just go a solid. But guys, dick nice, you can't really go wrong with them. Um, now you're probably wondering, when is he going to show me this trick? Now, I, again, I'm hesitant to show you this because it was something I picked up from a seminar way long ago and I don't know that a lot of people really caught on to it that it was there but it has caught me fish and it's been something that I've kept in my back pocket for quite some time and might as well show you guys what it is we're talking about the double rigged dick knight this is really cool and Thank you to Bill Herzog for showing this one at a kokanee seminar a couple years ago because what this allows you to do is you take a size 2 dick knight and a size 1 dick knight. So size 2 right here and then a size 1. Now what you end up having to do is cut off the welded ring at the bottom of your number two cut off or take off the hook there and I have a small size one split ring you could probably get away with the size two but a size one works you split ring the bottom of number two to the top of number one and what you end up having to do is cut that welded ring off you can leave the hook on the bottom of one and I added a little bit of moon jelly tape there but what this does guys is that top spoon has barely any movement just a little bit but that back one really kicks it looks like a swimming fish no joke yeah I'm hesitant to give this away but uh, it really is a trick to keep in your box those guys that like trolling for trout this is a way to get your big ones because it will look like a swimming fish and whether you're trolling it behind something like a little dodger or something else um, it's very effective and coking you guys this also works for that too you can run a size one and a wee and downsize it for kokanee because it does work I've caught some of my biggest kokanee out of just flat out uh, I'll just give this a try I hit a 16 and a half inch fish locally and it just blew my mind we I mean somewhere I have a picture I don't know there was a bed on it and uh, buddy had to eat a bug but this was really a neat thing to do um, it's been in a couple books, but again, it's been really quiet. So, uh, I gave you out something out of my, my secret book and, uh, it's really neat to try. So, well, I didn't think I was going to do it, but here is the double dick knight in the tank and it works absolutely awesome. You guys can see, get some really cool movement both the top spoon and the bottom looks like a swimming fish 
really will draw on some fish. That is the Dick Knight Spoon. Um, very, very productive for so many species. But with what we have coming along for the trout opener soon in Washington, um, I definitely recommend picking up a couple. They are in literally every tackle store. Walmart, Fred Meyer, just go look up. You can go find a couple of Dick Knights and pick yourself up a couple and have in your arsenal because for trout, they are one of my favorite and probably top five trout lures to have. And uh, if you guys also are looking for something, let's say as an attractor to use ahead of your Dick Knight, um, I'd recommend picking up the Dick Knight Dodgers. They have these trout and kokanee dodgers, which really are a great way to, first off, get some extra traction. And you could put, tie on one of these dodgers, then about three feet behind, put a dick knight, two to three feet, and you're fishing. You don't have to put any weight. This will dive down five to eight feet, and you're right in the zone for a lot of those planter trout. Or you can just go ahead and troll this directly and uh, you'll do great. Keep those in mind, but the Dick Knight Spoon is by far one of my favorites and just absolutely love using that thing. So hopefully you guys had a lot of fun seeing that and I gave away a secret I wasn't expecting to have to. So, ha, you lucky you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, I have a lot more ideas for the test tank. Uh, thanks so much. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Subscribe down here, and you guys uh, will get to see a whole heck of a lot more fun stuff coming soon and some even bigger announcements on the way. So thanks again, guys. Rick Denham, Holy Moly Outdoors. Take care. We'll see you on the water. And fish out!